The following program is rated TV MALSV. It contains strong language, sexual situations, and violence. It is intended only for mature audiences. Yo, there's a lot of haters out there trying to imitate what it is that I do. And I think the imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. But what is a prince to a king but a peasant trying to steal the throne? You do you, and I'll do me. And remember, die slow, bitch. I was born a legend, now can you feel this? I'm about to rock the fucking game like my name was Will Smith. You're trekking up a mountain just to see if you can find me. But bitch, I am the mountain and you could never climb me. I'm my own favorite Congratulations, Starling. You beat me. The question I have for you is what have you done with that title since? I'll answer it for you. Nothing. And in two days, I'm heading across the world to Bangkok, Thailand to go we'll defend my other title, the FIP World Heavyweight Championship. When I come back, September 14th, I'm gonna take that. When you come back from Bangkok, Thailand, with your FIP World Championship, you gotta come to Fort Ritchie, Florida and wrestle the king. And I want you to listen up, pal. When you step in the ring with me, there's no gimmicks, there's no nonsense. You like to claim yourself as some sort of world traveler. You traveled the world as a professional wrestler. You got that little, that little UK tour, little doc coming out. Mm -hmm. How about you and I, British rules for the GCW Heavyweight Championship? How about you about that? You want that? And if you can see, if you can lace my aces, because when the marquee says professional wrestling, look me in my eyes, look at me, because no one does it better. Like September 14th, we're gonna find out why nobody has ever remembered your name. Cheers, mate. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for Ethan! It's a British Rules match to the GCW! You know I gotta get the racks. You 
know I gotta get them M's I'm running the race and I'm faster than them Yeah, yeah All of the trash, forget them I'm running the race and I'm faster than them Yeah, yeah All of the trash, forget them Who am I? I'm the greatest Who am I? I'm getting paid for Who am I? I'm so flavored Who am I? I'm the greatest who am I? I'm getting paid. Who am I? I'm so flavored. How many of you ladies want to see me take my shirt off? Do you want to see me take my shirt off? Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Generation Championship Wrestling is time for your main event. The King of Florida versus the real, the raw, the got the draw. August Artois. What a show it has been. Brandon, you got Gomez on the outside. You've got August Artois. You've got the marquee. You've got the King of Florida, Daniel Starling. What are we going to see in the main event, British rule style? I have no idea, but the things I have witnessed live here tonight at GCWXXV has been nothing less than astonishing and baffling all at the same time. I have used all of my brain cells to try to figure out what's going on here. 
You see Mr. Gomez on the outside. We saw earlier in the show, Gomez turns on the Metro Brothers, giving, literally giving, the tag team titles to Controversial Inc. The bell has sounded. This match is official. They shake hands. Yeah, they shake it's hands. sportsmanship. Didn't expect that out of uh, Mr. Real and Raw. Uh, I like to follow the rules. Flexing for the gram. It's all that milk. It says, let's test our strength, you effing weirdo. And yeah. All here right, we here go. we go. Nice uh, European knuckle lock. Both hands. Very old school wrestling maneuver. Nice. Look at the king of Florida, Daniel Starling. Top wrist lock. Steps through. Double leg takedown. Quick cover. Wait, wait, wait. That's one that fall. one fall. First one for Daniel Starling. Oh, August starts already. Already shocked. The angle at which we are placed, I couldn't tell if that was two, but hey, ref's Listen, decision is official. Lee so can't, but I'm not gonna argue with Lee. One and oh. Daniel Starling up at the beginning of this match. And quick too, might I add. Starling. Here we go, nice collar elbow type center of the ring main event here. British rules. Generation Championship Wrestling Heavyweight Championship on the line. August Artois, Daniel Starling. Oh, August misses with the overhand chop. Starling strutting, making sure that hair is slicked back. The top bun, the top knot is knotted. Smooth like his wrestling style. Nice, picks a single leg. Looks like he's going for a cloverleaf. Almost, nope. Reverse cloverleaf. Artois grabs the bottom rope, saving himself. Oh, wait. Nope. Picks the shoulder. Starling showing off that technical prowess. Picks the leg again. Oh, no. Only a two count. Modified quick cover. August confused. I don't know. Really, guys? All right, ladies and gentlemen. I heard what I heard, and you heard what you heard. Generation Championship Wrestling owner and proprietor. I thought those were donuts in the back. Gomez. The, the powdered kind? British rules, the break apart. That was the end of round one. Now we're going into round two here. Trying to listen to the uh, banter between Mr. Gomez. You heard it. British rules. This is rounds. That was the end of round one. One zero. Daniel Starling up still. Going into the second round here. Collar elbow tie up. These two like to dance. No strangers to each other. I believe this is what, the third, fourth, 67th time uh, these two have faced each other? 100, 6400 time. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, August likes to put children on his shoulders, but then will call you American morons. He's also American, but world traveled. I'm confused. He's an international superstar. He's real. He's raw. He's the GD draw. Nice arm drag. Starling. Two. And scoop. Slam. Starling showing off a little strength. Like to be a little bit quiet here because you never know what kind of words are going to come out of the mouth of August Artois when he's going to pick up a microphone, when he's going to correct the fan, when he's going to yell at a little kid, or when him and Gomez are going to search for powdered donuts. Listen, uh, Gomez is Gomez. 
And Augie is Augie and Starling is on the top rope. Gonna fly. Nice. What goes up must, must come, come down. down. Hey, look, it's popcorn. And he's not talking about the powdered donuts. It's not the first time. Well, there Whoa. goes the popcorn. Yo, that was like a $19 bag of popcorn, too. Thanks a lot, Golf View Mall, Whoa. for having us. Generation Thanks a lot, Championship Augie. Wrestling XXV Live here at the Golf View Mall. Where at Sticks? Port Ritchie, Florida. Make sure you like, subscribe, and follow Generation Championship Wrestling on all social media platforms to know where to be, how to be, when to be, with all things GCW. This is your main event of the evening, but this is not the last you're going to see of Generation Championship Wrestling. Stay tuned to all the socials for the uh, special Black Friday oh, edition of no. Generation Championship Wrestling. Did you just, he just spanked a mother with a chair. He did. And then did a flip on the apron. I thought it was going to get real outside the ring, but it got, uh, it got raw instead. Okay. Wrestling. Starling still up 1-0. See what I did there? 1-0. The old Sonya Blade style neck cracker. Haven't seen that move in quite a while. Did you know that Starling is also a chiropractor in his spare time? I did not know that. He just uses his feet. Nice block there on the suplex. August trying to uh, do something here. And Gets a nice vertical suplex. Or a suplex. Was that a two? That was two. Referee Lee Canfield here. Lee Canfield keeping time and counting. Oh, that's, that's the, the end of the round. round. Nobody scored. One. Still 1-0. One -oh. Yeah, Starling 1-up on the Real and Raw August Artois. Don't say 1-up. Nintendo will probably come after us. Sorry. 1-0. Starling in the lead. Both the referee, Lee Canfield, and Mr. Gomez checking on the prize fighter, August Artois, making sure he is okay to continue in this match. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event, Generation Championship Wrestling Style. We are going into the third round here in this British Rules match. Who's ideal with this? I don't know, but who was, who's ever it was, it certainly was an idea. August trying to call a uh, pause, a break, but he just had a break. Oh, no! Starling gets caught in the top rope, gets caught in the clothesline! Turns him inside out. Upside down. Starling now laying in the middle of the canvas. Not a safe place to be. August Artois going up to the top turnbuckle. Frog splash. Deep frog splash. Cover. Kick out. Three rounds in. British rules match. Title on the line. August feet to the face of Daniel Starling, the king of Florida. Currently the king of the corner. August Artois and Daniel Starling. Oh, no, there you words. go, Mr. Gomez doing what he's just, Gomez does. He's just helping him out, making sure he's good. See? Checking his pulse. Nice chop there. Oh, oh up and over the hard way. Starling foreside. Foreside. The power behind that whip. He whipped him Irish style. Well, I mean, it is European. He told you, Gomez is a considerate guy. Mr. Gomez checking on. He does care. He does. He let all these people watch this show for free. How very nice of him as part of the food truck rally. Ladies and gentlemen, Generation uh, Entertainment presents the all food truck things. World's largest. We're losing signs food here. Truck company. It's August is August hugging. wanted to give a fan a hug. His grandma. Is that Wyatt in the front row? Oh. That is the second time we've seen some action like that in this match. I feel like somebody, wait, 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 is, wait, 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 What is happening? Somebody call HR. Did you know that August Artois is a uh, a mammogram expert? He likes to help the less fortunate in his spare time. Also, ladies and gentlemen, you heard Lee Canfield counting 14. You got to wonder why there's no count out of 10 because 
in a British rules match and is a standing 20 counts. Misses with the kick, sweeps the leg, Starling, apron, back, pain. This is kind of shocking to me because as we pointed out earlier in the Oh, here we go with the kid. I was unaware that Lee Canfield could count higher than 10. So this is, this is the uh, Wouldn't that be, I, okay. Yep, 10's the highest I've ever heard Lee Canfield count. Here we go with the popcorn. He just needs sustenance. Again, Mr. Gomez, a considerate and caring guy. End of the round, ladies and gentlemen, three rounds down. And speaking of down, August Artois is still down by one. There has only been one fall in this match, and currently it is held by Daniel Starling. Yeah, August using a child as a weapon. Apparently that's okay. I'm not entirely sure what Gomez is doing. Looks like he's counting kernels of popcorn over there in the corner. Just wasting popcorn. Popcorn's a great snacky poo. Trying to wonder why everybody in Generation Championship Wrestling gets popcorn except for us. Yo, where's mine? Can't even get any water over here. But Starling gets a handful of popcorn. Up and over. Nope, not, not quite. quite. Kick to the side of the head right in August here. Starling gonna go to the top. Front face lock. Nope, right in the giblets. That is not how you wanna land. That'll sure do some damage to your paint by numbers. Chop combination, right hands. August Artois taking control of this match now on top. Second rope suplex. Beautifully done. Can't make the cover though. Oh, does in fact. One, two. Now we are even. It is one, one. August Artois, Daniel Starling. One each. Four rounds in, we are tied up here, one all. I am not very well versed in British rules, but I believe it is five rounds to a fight. Correct. And now they're even. So the fifth round has to be the breaking point. Starling getting a second to uh, use the towel, clean off his face. August, uh, oh. he's called the cross face. Could he tap, could he tap title on the line, ladies and gentlemen. Could this be the deciding fall here? Oh, ripping the nose. Look at him ripping the nose. Right in the holes. Right in the nose holes. Oh, no. Cross face in deep. August Artois doing his best to fight out of this cross face. His arm is still locked between the legs of Daniel Starling. Into the corner, good way to break that submission. Well, wait, 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 wait. Oh, uh, not quite. Augie does, in fact. Oh, no, I'm right back to it. The King of Florida locking in the submission. Good oh. in-ring psychology by Daniel Cravat, look at it. That's gross. Sometimes you gotta spit to breathe, though. <laughs> Title on the line, Generation Championship Wrestling. Main event, British rule style. See, he just wants to hold August's hand. Again, helping a with caring individual. Helping with the break. Throwing Gomez out. Can you throw the boss out? I, he owns the company. I don't know if... I mean, the ref's authority is the number one priority in any wrestling match. So what the ref says... For the small amount of time that we are out here in the squared circle. It's, it's, oh, wait. Officially into the next round here. So the ref's decision was a disqualification there. There we go. Two up for the King of Florida now. Still in round four. 
Round five, ring the bell. Okay, here we go. Final round, title on the line. Two up, Daniel Starling. August Artois gonna have to find a way to be real and raw and draw a victory out of the jaws of defeat. Sticks, I'm not very well versed in European style matches. I'm gonna have to borrow the passport of August Artois and take myself a little trip over there because according to the way the rules are set up in this match, I only have two brain cells and both of them are fighting for third place. <laughs> if you put my brain inside of a bird, it will bark. Oh, August now says the end is near. Trying to set up for a pile driver there. Nope. Into a fireman carry. What's Daniel Starling thinking? Oh, oh my God. Running neck breaker here. Starling. Wait a minute. You're too far away, my guy. You're too far away. August Artois, not the only person to go international and fly. Whoa, with that head, bud. That is definitely where concussions come from. Shades of Stevie Richards. Yeah, you call that flying headbutt off the top rope. Three one, still in the fifth round. Still time for August to get two quick victories. Daniel Starling, like the Michael Jordan of professional wrestling in this match right now, three rings. Waiting for both men to get back to their feet, catch their breath. The bell is not sounded. The round is not over. Therefore, they will not be separated. Starling back on the offensive, but August with a quick defense. Grabbing the Union Jack. The world traveled, internationally known, real raw August Artrog choking. Choking Daniel Starling out. August. I think he might be, he's asleep. Getting caught with a second warning here. Now third equals a disqualification. So, August gonna have to be real careful here. The referee doing everything in his power to remain unbiased. Oh, we can't be with a kick. Oh, he tried to call it right down the middle, got pulled into the middle. Oh, gets caught in the ween. Oh! Underhook pile driver. The Marcy pile no driver referee. here, no ref to make the count. We are in round five, the deciding round here in this championship co contest. The bell has sounded. That is the end of round five. Oh, speaking of the marquee. Sticks, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Wow, okay. Tyler Uriah with a chair. Lots of very confusing action going on tonight this here. Is, uh, it's chaos. Trying to figure out exactly why. Wait a Tyler Uriah wait a is out wait here. A wait a second. Is he gonna hit August Artois in the face? This doesn't seem very fair. Oh no! What in the world did we just see? Kid wants to make himself a star, tired of being in the shadow of the King of Florida. August Artois reminding Tyler that he carries around the bags. That did not sit well with that young man, and he took a shot right at the cranium. Are we seeing Starling. the marquee crumble before our very eyes? Referee Julie back out here. Lee Canfield still laid out on the ground over there. We need an official. Sending August Artois back to his corner. She says that's the end of the round. Now she's got to check on Daniel Starling to make sure he is okay and fit to continue. It's over. That's it. He's passed out. Is that is that the end of the match? <laughs> Referee Julie saying he cannot get up. He cannot move. I think she's called the entire match. 
And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the most confusing main event is now over. Generation Championship Wrestling gives you a new world champion, the real raw August Artois, finds a way to win this British rules match as we see the marquee fall to pieces, as we see the King of Florida dethroned. We here at Generation Championship Wrestling would like to thank KSP Media. We'd like to thank Generation Entertainment. We'd like to thank the world's largest food truck rally. We'd like to thank the Golf View Mall. Before we sign off, I have a question. Yes. Mr. Gomez has had his fingers all over this show. Is he building something? Is there something coming? Is there know. winds of change a-blowing? Generation Championship Wrestling. I'm so shook up, I got the hiccups. I have no Ladies idea. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Styx. His name is Brandon. Join us on Black Friday. Follow, like, and subscribe. But most importantly, follow us everywhere so you know what happens. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. And I'll put you in